to another video. Let's do an Olympiad problem from Lithuania 2010. And all we have to do is prove that for all real numbers a and b, a to the fourth plus a squared b squared plus b to the fourth divided by 3 is always greater than or equal to over 2. Shout out to Tomas for sending in this problem. And it took me different strategies to figure out what exactly to do. And I'm going to tell you what I typically do whenever I solve inequality problems, when I'm doing a proof. The three strategies I usually um, would think of. There's the easy, well, everything is easy depending on what the problem is and which one works. No, everything is hard, <laughs> not easy. <laughs> Let's get into the video. So my number one strategy that I always adopt is to say, can I move everything from here to this side? If I move everything to this side and I can show that what is then on the left, what is now on the left is going to always be greater than or equal to zero. That is, it's always non-negative, then I'm good. And that means I have to be able to express the left-hand side as a perfect square because I know a perfect square, the worst it could be is zero or the least it could be. But that strategy didn't work out for me here because I didn't see a perfect square when I moved it. So the second strategy you could perform is to say, I am going to decrease this side and I'm going to increase this side. I think that may have worked. Well, remember, when you decrease this side, it means you are subtracting a positive. And when you increase this side, you are adding a positive. Is there a way I can add positive, uh, subtract positive from here add positive to this and still make it true. If that is true, it means the original relation was also true. I couldn't use that strategy here. So the third strategy that I would use is say, I'm going to look for something that this is greater than. And I'm gonna show that if this is greater than that thing and that thing is greater than this, then this is greater than this. And that was the eventual strategy that I resorted to because the other strategies, I just couldn't see them. So, this is what I did. Now, I know this is not a perfect square on top because if I wanna form a perfect square, I would need this to have a two in the middle. So what I did was what I said to myself is what's on top can be written as a to the fourth to the fourth is equal to if I wrote it as a to the fourth plus 2a squared b squared plus b to the fourth minus a squared b squared. The top part would be the same thing as this. But I know that this part here is a perfect square. So this is equal to a squared plus b squared squared minus a squared b squared. So one third of this, so I can say that a to the fourth plus a squared b squared plus b to the fourth divided by three is equal to a squared plus b squared squared divided by three minus a squared b squared divided by three. There is a theorem we're going to be using here, which is very obvious. It is called the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality, which simply states that for any set of positive real numbers, remember positive real numbers, the arithmetic mean is always greater than the geometric mean. Okay, and what does that mean? It means that um, if a, b 
are greater than zero, okay, they have to be positive. A, B greater than zero, what it says is that A plus B over two is greater than or equal to the square root of AB. So this means that A squared plus B squared, which now we know are positive, divided by two is greater than or equal to the square root of A squared B squared. That means A squared plus B squared over two is greater than or equal to what is this? The square root of a squared b squared, which is just a b. Now we're not going to be doing absolute value because we know that they're positive. Okay, so no absolute value in this case. So we know that this is greater than or equal to a b. Now see what's going to happen. That means if I come here, a squared b squared, if I want to form a squared b squared, all I have to do is square this. If I square this, it means I'm squaring this, so I'm going to be having a squared plus b squared squared over 4 is greater than or equal to a b squared or a squared b squared. Do you see that? Okay. Now, this is important because I'm borrowing one of those strategies I mentioned at the beginning. Now, look here. This is equal to this. However, if I change this to become this, what I'm doing is I'm subtracting more from the right-hand side. You see, this is greater than this. So, if I want to subtract a lot more from here, what I can do to my, what I'm doing is say, okay, um, I want to subtract a squared b squared over 3. If I divide this by 3, this becomes 12. So what I'm actually doing is I'm going to say this is now greater than or equal to a squared plus b squared squared over 3 minus a squared plus b squared squared over 12. Now, what's the difference between these two? It's going to be um, 1 fourth. So it's going to be 1 fourth of what we have. So we can make a conclusion here. I'm going to erase this now. You saw how I did this. Okay. So now we can say that a to the fourth plus a squared b squared plus b to the fourth divided by three is no longer equal to, it's now greater than, because we've reduced the right hand side because we increased what we're subtracting. So it's now equal to a squared plus b squared all squared divided by 4, because this is going to give you over 4. 1 third minus 1 fourth minus 1 twelfth is 1 fourth. Okay, that's interesting. That's going to be 4 minus 1 over 12, which is going to be 3 over 12, which is 1 over 4. Okay, my math is still good. Okay, now, so we can show that this, the original problem, is greater than this. The only thing I need to do now is to show that this is greater than the right-hand side. Okay, let's see. Now, want to show that a squared plus b squared squared over 4 is greater than or equal to, it's greater than what we have here. This is actually a cubed b. I think I miswrote when I wrote the beginning of the question, but nothing is affected. Okay, not, nothing is affected yet. So it's greater, we want to show it's greater than a cubed b um, plus a b cubed over 2. 
Now, I'm going to start from here. I'm going to show that this is less than this, and that's the same thing as this is greater than this. So let's work with this one. So observe that you have, what, what is common? AB. You got AB, sorry, A cubed B plus AB cubed is equal to AB times A squared plus B squared. Now, don't forget, remember what we said. Recall that a squared plus b squared over 2 is greater than or equal to ab. So what we have here is this is equal to this, right? Aha, uh -huh. this is equal to this, but I want to replace ab. If I replace ab, with this, what I'm doing is I'm making this bigger. So this has to be less than what I'm going to be getting soon. So it means that a cubed b plus a b cubed is definitely less than or equal to because I'm going to increase the right hand side. By instead of writing a b, I'm going to be replacing it with a number that is bigger than it. So it means what was there originally is no longer equal. This is now bigger than this. So it means this is now less than a squared plus b squared over 2 multiplied by a squared plus b squared. You see that? And that means, what does this mean? This is equal to, let's write the next line. So this implies that a cubed b plus a b cubed is less than or equal to a squared plus b squared squared over 2. So now we can make the final connection and say, hey, we're looking for half of this. Half of this is going to be half of this. So we're saying that a squared a squared plus b squared squared divided by 4. We're going to take half of this is half of this, which was the original, is greater than or equal to a squared b plus a cubed b, rather, a cubed b plus a cubed a b cubed over 2. So we have shown that this, this is greater than this, and we've now shown that this is greater than this, that means this is greater than this, or equal to it. And that's it, we're done. Okay, therefore, by, what property is that? If you go from one thing to the other, the, is it the transitive property? Yeah. <laughs> okay, by the transitive property of real numbers, we can easily say that a to the fourth plus a squared b squared plus b to the fourth over 3 is greater than or equal to a cubed b plus a b cubed over 2. I hope I didn't leave anything out. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.